Here we go. Yeah, and for Cosmos, uh, you know, he's like a brother to me. I've talked to him like twice, but I've been confused for him enough times that I'm like, hey, let's go, Cosmos. And it's either him or Strides, man, but we're going right into it. Cosmos, of course, has had a pretty good season for himself as well, right? Um, in terms of people, of the things that he's done and people he's beat, he got ninth at Glitch 6, 7th at Summit, 7th at Genesis, 5th at Frostbite, and he even got a 3rd at Sky's Invitational. So he really has been putting out the results with his inkling, and for some reason, I feel like people have been sleeping on him, and I don't understand why. I feel like a lot of that has to do with the fact that a lot of inkling representation has fallen away. A lot of the weight of this character's results falls on Cosmos. And the fact that he's not winning everything with a character that everybody was writing off as phenomenal early on puts so much pressure on him they discredit what he's able to do. But it, I feel it goes without saying that he's still one of the strongest players in the game right now. That being said, turn things over to Raptor, a player we've talked about already earlier in the stream, but there's someone a bit more on the hush with how he's doing. A bit more quiet with how he travels, about how he performs in New York. And we've already talked about the dichotomy between him and Suarez. But look how deep in the bracket we are. Look at where both of these players are placing. It just goes to show how talented they both are. But right now, Cosmos is the one that's playing like he's got more to prove. Because look at how much damage he's managed to put on a Raptor before Raptor can even end out this first stock. Yeah, he was able to rack up so much ink as well. The multiplier doing so much for Cosmos. He's making a Raptor struggle tremendously. Maybe Raptor not too familiar with the matchup himself, or at least definitely against a player like Cosmos. But, wow, hit some, oh, another one. Yo, Steph Curry? Oh, I thought we were gonna see three. <laughs> Ooh, with a quick forward air check. Forcing no. Raptor to actually lose his stock just like that. We're at the 3-1 so early on. Raptor's gotta be able to end this stock if he wants to be able to get this chance. And, yo, pull it, squeeze till it clicks. All that ink down means so much. <laughs> Look at him, man. That back in like 17% because of that. And that's crazy. But Raptor finally able to find the first stock on Cosmos. Cosmos sitting pretty, looking like he's having a jolly good time. Looks comfortable in the driver's seat. And he's commanding this game one. All right, I Are like that. Right over it? <laughs> he just jumped right over it. As I've come to learn, that hitbox is actually not that grand. So if you don't respect it as much, you can figure out a lot of counterplay to forward smash. And just to see the short hop, yes, the Aglay may have whiffed, but it leads a lot to wonder. Will Raptor remember that when he sees the forward smash? Will he be able to just short hop, put out a lot more violent of an option, potentially nair, potentially up air? Like, it leads a lot of questions to be asked. But right now, all I got is, is that your kill? I don't think he has a jump. I think that's why he's throwing out the up -ease. Yeah, he doesn't. Oh. It didn't matter. It, nah, didn't matter. Was dead. it didn't matter. He was dead long before that. He was very Cosmos dead. just wanted to do it for the fans. But, you mean, I don't know. Cosmos, areas he shines. One, his conversions are, are uh, amazing. You're just straight up, and that's the reason why he's one of the best. You can't be good without having a strong punish game. But, especially with a character like Inkling, his ledge trapping game is insane. And we were talking about this yesterday. I don't remember who we saw him playing, but he always likes to set up that scenario where he has your back toward the ledge, and he will just do the racket jab. And because of some weird interaction that the game has when you're doing a racket jab and your opponent's back to the ledge, you're able to rack up so much damage. You were talking about these conversions a little bit earlier on. Honestly, it's just gonna be a factor brought up time and time again. In a character you wouldn't really expect out of Inkling, Cosmos finds a way to make every little hit last. And considering how consistent he is at putting ink on his opponents and how much ink he puts down, it's no wonder the damage that climbs on these targets. And right there, I feel like that must be annoying for Raptor, right? He's like, oh, he's Raptor jabbing. I saw that video by Dimmer. I can roll. And then he rolls and he gets hit by the jab anyway. He's like, what? what? Huh? It's a good jab. What can I say? Oh, and that's a good dunk. What can I say? Here we go again. Oh, unloading the tank. Raptor trying to get back on stage. At least this time around, it's looking like it's going to be a lot more competitive. Got the drag down back air that we were talking about in the earlier sets, how it can convert into something. But Raptor missing the conversion there. But Cosmos does not miss those conversions. You can't really afford to either. All these conversions are getting so much for him. Who needs a jump when you got an air dodge like that? I'm Eight telling you, man. So the, having the best aerial movement in the game when it comes to your airspeed is so important for Yoshi. 
that allows them to get out of these sticky situations with very little effort. Cosmos is so sick. He is so sick. I get to see anyone today edgeguard Yoshi with such proficiency. He's able to get out the double jump, find a two frame punish, push him off stage again, punish the air dodge, and just straight up kill him. Most people can't do that. Usually they you know, hit him once or twice and then he gets back to the stage, but Cosmos is not one of those people. I feel like a lot of this has to do with Raptor's style of play. A lot of this is like old school versus new school, if you will. Cosmos is finding a lot of his ground about the halfway through of Smash 4, whereas Raptor, he's a late ball boy. He's been in forever, but right now, that new hotness is showing what's good. I feel like the way that Raptor approaches a matchup just isn't working for how to fight against Cosmos, because Cosmos is winning out in these stray hits. He's not caring about when Raptor gets his stray hits. Mm -hmm. Cosmos is making every little hit count, and it's hurting so much for Raptor. Raptor needs to find the answer. But even for me as a spectator, I'm like, man, Cosmos really got him in the mix right now. We saw Raptor go for the wonkiest recovery. He did egg roll, right? And people are like, why is he egg rolling? Double jump, up B, and somehow Cosmos was ready for it all. He's like, all right, you can do all these options, but I'm not getting phased by any of this. I know I just need to wait and pick my moment to strike carefully, and it'll be fine for me. He does such a good job of making sure to push this battle to the ledge. And we talked a little bit about that earlier too with Raptor fighting against uh, King Art, where it was he who was pushing the battle to the ledge and how much he was able to get off of that. But it's a precarious situation because Yoshi finds himself there. What's he gonna do with the ledge, especially with how consistently Cosmos is being able to secure the kills with the damage he racks up. Whether it's the ledge play or the juggle play, there's never been a safe place for Raptor to really land. And I feel like even in that scenario, Cosmos is just so good at mixing up what his kill options are. That Raptor is getting mixed every single time. Great conversion from him right there, but we saw that he's died to the down smash, the roller into forward smash, and now the up smash at a shield on top of all the edge guard conversions that Cosmos has been getting. It feels like he has so much to look out for, whereas Cosmos is sitting so comfortable. Like, you can make a bingo card out of all the kills that an inkling could potentially get, and right now Cosmos is going for full board. Like, he's taking complete advantage of the way that Raptor holds himself in this battle. But, like, it's just, it's just very impressive. Like, I, I can only sit here and admire the play because it's such a, it's, it's such a simple game plan, but it's so complex in how it's being executed. And Cosmos is doing so flawlessly. Yeah, and he's been capitalizing a lot in the juggle game, right? Because Yoshi, that down air takes a while to come out. It's not exactly the best thing to use when you're trying to come down. But his forward air and back air, you kind of have to be at a particular spacing to attack someone with that. And if they're right below you, Yoshi doesn't really have anything unless he wants to go for that Hail Mary down B. Okay. Cosmos biding his time. Raptor doing a much better job this time around of trying to keep up with Cosmos. I'm not sure why Cosmos dipped down that low. He's going to be returning back to the stage just fine until he meets the business end of a forward smash. Now it's Cosmos finding himself on last stop. Raptor again, the up smash, scooping Raptor right out of the ground and into the skies. Raptor, though, doing a very good job. Almost gets that uh, Eggle. It, it was this close to connecting, but he's looking very strong right now. Might be able to close out a game for himself. You know, you brought up, you brought up the uh, the concept of the matchup knowledge when we entered this set, and it's occurring to me that Raptor may not have a lot of experience against Inklings, especially of this caliber. So he may not know how to handle a lot of these options. I feel like Cosmos is getting a ton of damage off of what he can do with Jab. Between catching Raptor out of the air and how much ink he's managing to put on with Raptor Jab, all I know is that Raptor's going to have to hit the box, but he's still hanging in there. Yeah, just one more meaty hit from Cosmos. He's trying his best to stay alive. He's gonna send him off stage and you know what comes next. We're trying to edge guard. Or not. <laughs> He's gonna go Psych! off stage. <laughs> so now even I'm getting mixed. Bro, everybody's catching the love here. Okay. The quickest bear of all time, by the way. That was I'm like, actual, when did he turn around? That was actually... When did he turn around? Like, Tassar bear. And 
Unfortunately, that's the end of the run for my boy out at ninth here at Collision 2019. A fantastic run for Raptor, and hopefully a, a sign to show that people cannot sleep on the old guard still. Mm -hmm. But you got to put respect on the name when it comes to players like Cosmos who have really found their bearings here in Ultimate and are looking to make their stand in the top echelon. And, you know, I always say that when Ultimate came out, I wanted to see how the players from before migrated over to new characters. How will it envelop their style, right? We have Nairo going from the Palutena. Right. I mean, rather, from the ZSS to the Palutena, right? We've seen that shit. And then we have players like Cosmos who Inkling didn't exist in Smash 4. We were sitting there chilling with the corn, but you know what? Hey, let me try this new character out. And we've seen that it's not the character, right? It was never the character. People would always say that, oh, you're carried by this and that. It was never the case. These players are good, they're strong, they're smart, and they know how to adapt. And Cosmo showing new game, same old me making his placements happen. That was a top eight qualifier, I believe. Yes, it is. So there you go. Cosmo is gonna be another one inducted into the top eight. So now it's a matter of just panning out the rest of our roster, and I already see, I don't know if I'm looking at Heartbreakers or if it's going to be a great deal, oh, but no. I've got 